so you like robo games? I do. Yeah, is this your first uh, time here? Yes. Okay, never experienced it before. Only in uh, by word of mouth, only by pictures and things like that. Yeah, what, what's your favorite uh, part? Um, probably the variety of personalities and experiences that, that come here, the variety of stories. Super. Yeah. How did you get involved with uh, robotics? Um, probably as a youngster, being interested in mechanical things, electronic things. Yeah. Uh, robotics is, is a means to an artistic end. Okay. More than yourself. Yeah. To express your yourself. To express my interest in the human figure in motion. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's how I would Back in college, in high school, did you uh, specialize in mechanical engineering, mechanical design? Or? Um, yes, I, I studied engineering in college, yeah. although interestingly I remained undegreed in anything. Oh, that's okay, me too. Yeah. 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 Um, on my own, as a kid growing up, always building things, always building yeah. mechanical things, and or taking apart mechanical things. Was your mother frightened by a watch, or was there uh, something? Uh, my my earliest recollection of having been moved by some mechanical thing or some yeah. moving yeah. probably was uh, my father's old cars. Yeah. He was a amateur mechanic, yeah. Bill Hot Rods. Mm -hmm. And then I also remember being moved by the character of Geppetto in Pinocchio. Oh, cool, 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 and, cool. And yeah. So, yeah. I'd have to say those are my two earliest, probably, uh, impulses or uh, Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I hope you uh, inspire some other people to uh, get involved. Thanks. Yeah. I, I hope so. I'm, I've certainly been inspired. Oh, that's, that's great. Do you have a next project in mind or several projects that several. you're working on? Yeah, I've got a male version of this thing that's in front of my board which is probably a simpler project than this. Uh -huh. the, the male block being less complex than the female Sure. Yeah, I noticed the kinematics uh, are exquisite. I mean, you really did a lot of study. I did. Did, did you have uh, several different versions or iterations oh, of... Sure. Uh, hmm. the, the female version is probably the fourth iteration. Yeah. Sub-iterations between. Yeah. You know, yeah. The development. What was the biggest problem that you ran into? The biggest problem with this project was probably my assumptions about what I knew about uh, the mechanical things. Okay. <laughs> I would have to say that was, that's my, that was my biggest problem. Okay, so you thought you knew more than you actually well, based knew? Well, you know, I had considerable experience in the yeah. past building small mechanisms sure. and stuff. Um, sure. None of it as requiring this, this level of precision. Uh -huh. Uh, there are certain things you can get away with in lower precision uh -huh. mechanical things that you can't get away with. Yeah. Yeah. So my problem with my assumptions. Yeah. What was your biggest learning from that? Based some furthering my, my understanding of small mechanisms. Okay. Uh, further, furthering my understanding of um, anatomy of the uh, skeletal system. Of okay. Specifically for this project, with the female. Yeah. Yeah. Would you recommend this type of uh, activity for other people? Sure. I would. Yeah. It's fun. It's uh, difficult, but satisfying. Yeah. Satisfying. Excellent learning. Yeah. Uh, huge, huge learning. <laughs> And you survived and you succeeded, which is uh, great. so far I survived. <laughs> great, thank you very much. Sure.